Okay, everyone, today we're going to be doing a capacity check on a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. We're going to be expecting at 12.8 volts, we're going to get 1,280 watts out of this. Uh, you can see on the watt meter up here, we're zeroed out across the board. Currently have 13 volts on the meter there, showing about the same here. Uh, the Bluetooth is turned off. We have low voltage set on here at 10 volts. However, this is only going to let us go down to 11, so we'll see what we get there. We have topped the battery off with a regular off-the-shelf uh, lithium charger. So we had, didn't put any extra power into this off of a power supply or anything. Uh, just what we could get off of the NOCO. So the setup, we got our Hall Effect meter over here, coming through cable into an inverter, which is off right now. And then that's plugged into a heat gun that we can control the, uh, the temperature on. So we're going to do a 0.2C uh, test, which is kind of a standard which means we should be pulling about 20 amps. So 0.2 is 20 amps of 100. And yeah, we'll see what we get. All right, let's give it a go. All right, so starting off, we'll go ahead and put the power on back here. That comes up there. Power showing 13.3, same. We'll go ahead and come over here. Power on a heat gun, three, fan one. And we'll go ahead and bump that up to the faster fan setting. And then over here we can see that's about 30 amps, so we'll dial it down one. Let's go ahead and go, go down to there. There is 21 amps. That's just about 0.2C, so we'll leave it there and see where it settles out. Again, we can see what we're pulling here. So far, we're, right now we're pulling 315 watts, or about 300 watts. It's fluctuating, and there's our total so far. Oops, sorry. There's our total so far, so we'll come back a little bit and see where we're at. All right, guys, we are right at four hours now. You can see we have crossed 1,041 watts of our available 1288. So we've pulled 80 amps. We're currently still pulling 20 amps uh, continuous right now. And that equates to about 250 watts. So that's going along nicely. I've turned on the Bluetooth here and wanted to show in the app some of the stuff available. So you can see uh, the temperatures right here, temp one, temp two currently 35 and 38 so that's roughly 95 degrees Fahrenheit around that it's in Celsius uh, but a quick uh, conversion makes that about 95 to 98 degrees Fahrenheit uh, something else I wanted to show is the dashboard you can get your real basic interface from here and then lastly is going to be parameter view and this is kind of unique in that you can actually change the parameters in here so if you want let's say the pack under voltage setting down here um, if you want to change that, you can come in here and change that. Instead of the cutoff being 10 volts, you can set it to cut off at 11 volts. Um, the over voltage, the temperature, the temperature releases, how, the delays on all that stuff, it's all available through the parameter view here if you get the admin version of the app, which is available to anyone. So, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. We're still pulling at 12.9, heater still running, and uh, yeah, we should have about uh, we'll see maybe about an hour left all right guys we have just crossed 1280 watts we're at 1282 we were trying to get to 1280 and so we made that voltage has been dropping pretty quick now so we're at 11.1 but yeah pretty happy with that the voltage has made it you can see this is starting to suffer it's going to kick off here any second the runtime was almost five hours we're at four hours and 56 minutes um, again, the battery will go all the way to 10 volts, but this inverter is only going to let us go to 11. So it's getting ready to kick off here. You can hear the heater here starting to struggle a little. All right, so next up is going to be a teardown of the battery. We're actually going to cut the battery open. We're going to cut the top off and pull the cells out and get a good look at them, see what the BMS looks like. And uh, yeah, just kind of show the insides of this whole thing. All right, guys, look, we just hit 100 amp hours, 1288. Awesome. So as advertised on the capacity test.